This episode looks at Ben Hamer. Very much the UKIP of fringe footballers, he can be judged on one single issue. Ben Hamer is the kind of guy whose favoured barbershop is covered in manly memorabilia like Pulp Fiction posters and autographed prints of Clubber Lang. He thinks he's being big and clever, but there's nothing big or clever about paying £15 for a bit of a beard trim. Ben Hamer is the kind of guy who likes memes on Facebook along the lines of If your boyfriend hasn't got a beard, then you've got a girlfriend. Ben Hamer is the kind of guy who becomes a university lecturer that all the girls in the module fancy. 70% of page visits to his LinkedIn profile are now a direct result of being shared in group chats by hormonal first years. Hashtag DILF. Ben Hamer is the kind of guy who covers his tattooed arms with a long sleeve shirt in order to be eligible for employment at Weatherspoons. Ben Hamer is the kind of guy who isn't fussed to hang around for the post credit scene in the latest Marvel film. He's due back on base in half hour and the last bus of the night is at quarter past. It's just not worth it for ten seconds of footage. Ben Hamer is the kind of guy who secretly loves it when his foreign friends describe his beard as epic or awesome. Ben Hamer is the kind of guy who owns an incredibly small dog. He walks it on a really thin lead as well, just to add to the optical illusion really. Ben Hamer is the kind of guy who calls himself Ben Hammer when he moonlights as a heel in his local wrestling promotion, the name of which is a masterstroke in copyright evasion. I'm personally thinking WWE, Ultimate Underground Wrestling Emsworth. It's also got barbed wire around its logo. Ben Hamer is the kind of guy who has sponsor stickers all over his car. You think he must be making quite a bit of cash advertising all those brands, but then you discover he bought them himself for twenty nine ninety nine from Argos. Ben Hamer is the kind of guy who hasn't been happy at all with the service he's received at Chimichangas. He threatens to write an email to head office, but we all know he's never once followed through with that. And he'll be back to Netflix or whatever as soon as he gets home.